as one of mixed martial arts most ruthless veterans robbie lawler meets the leader of the ufc's next generation rory mcdonald in a highly anticipated meeting of old school and new breed, Robbie Lawler will look to use his knockout power to put a stop to the rise of Canada's Rory McDonald. A UFC fighter back in the early days of the Zufa era, Lawler returned in 2013 with knockouts of Josh Koscheck and Bobby Volker, proving that he was not just still relevant, but a legitimate title threat. The 24-year-old McDonald has won six of seven bouts since entering the octagon for the first time in 2010. And after back-to-back -back wins over BJ Penn and Jake Ellenberger, a victory against Lawler could propel him into a title shot. Ladies and gentlemen, is one of the most interesting fights to me on the card. Ruthless Robbie Lawler versus Rory McDonald. Robbie Lawler at 170 pounds is a very, very dangerous and explosive fighter. Left the UFC a while ago, win the strike force, and had mixed results at 185 pounds, but somewhere along the line found his maturity as a fighter. And that time coincided with his reintroduction to the UFC audiences, the UFC on Fox, where he stopped Bobby Volker. He stopped Josh Koscheck before that in another spectacular fight. He's just become more mature, more disciplined, more technical. And at 170 pounds, hits about as hard as anybody on the planet. He also is incredibly ferocious and aggressive inside the octagon. And that's what makes this fight with Rory McDonald so interesting. Because Rory McDonald is arguably one of the most technical young fighters in the UFC today. Rory is always in the correct position, always doing the right thing, but perhaps fights a bit on the safe side. And we saw that in his last bout against Jake Ellenberger. Ellenberger didn't engage the way I believe Robbie Lawler is going to engage, though. Lawler is ferocious. His animal instincts and aggression are second to none. And that's what makes this an exciting fight. And that's one of the things that makes Robbie Lawler ultimately one of the most dangerous guys at 170 pounds on the planet. Old school superstar Robbie Lawler set to take on the next generation, Rory McDonald. What's well, interesting that you say that because Robbie Lawler was, he was Rory, Rory McDonald, McDonald at one exactly. point in time when he fought Aaron Riley. He was just a different version of it. He was this aggressive Mike Tyson like brawler that just came attacking and kicking and punching. But Rory McDonald has a completely different approach. His approach is he is the young gun, but he's a different kind of young gun. He's a young gun that's intensely technical, very well prepared, always in the perfect position to either punch or kick, has no holes in his game, doesn't get out of character, doesn't lose his composure, is the quintessential Farah Sahabi protege. Very, very technical, but also has the knockout power, has the jiu-jitsu, as you see him hug John Donaher there, one of the best jiu-jitsu coaches on earth. It's a really unique contrast in styles. In May of 2002, at 20 years old, Robbie Lawler made his UFC debut two years out of high school. Rory McDonald debuted in January of 2010 at 20 years old. He was 9-0 and at that time with nine finishes. And the big thing about Rory is we talked about him being the first fighter who only trained in all the aspects of mixed martial arts. He wasn't a wrestler becoming a striker or a jiu-jitsu fighter becoming a wrestler or a boxer. He did it all. He also has an eerie composure when he steps inside the octagon. There's no one 
who fights today, who quite has that thousand yard stare like Rory McDonald does. It's pretty spooky. His teammates have called him the Canadian psycho. That's not an act, though, you know what I mean? I mean, some guys can play psycho. Roy McDonald is psycho. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight is brought to you by Corn Nuts. Tough like you. The Canadian from Kelowna, British Columbia, 24. Robbie Lawler, 31 years old. Rory McDonald, two and a half inch reach advantage. And once again, with the official introductions, we send it back to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 21 wins, nine losses, one no contest. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, ruthless Robbie Wall! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 15 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Rory Aries McDonald! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee for this welterweight fight. The lovely Brittany. There you go, first round, you ready? What a matchup. Are you ready? Let's go, come Tonight's on. Tonight's clock is brought to you by Muscle Farm, fueling athletes safely. Ruthless Robbie kick. Lawler in the blue trunks. Rory McDonald in the black trunks. Yeah, right away, Robbie opens up with a hard leg kick. Robbie has been ultra impressive since returning to the UFC. Robbie's also very, very explosive. Again, he's attacking with that leg kick. Knockout of the night against Koscheck, and then the head kick knockout against Bobby Volker. Rory McDonald is about seven seconds away of being perfect. Carlos Condit finished him late in Vancouver. Right after that, he moved to Montreal to pursue greatness, as he says. That made a big change in the game of Rory McDonald, being with a big camp like TriStar, where you have just an ultra-talented group of fighters to train with on a regular basis and great trainers. Look how good Rory's distance is. I mean, backed up calmly one inch away from those punches and then landed that counter right hand and that kick. Another good right leg kick by Robbie. That use of the front leg switch kick has been very effective so far for Robbie. He has not gotten countered yet, but if Rory was gonna counter him, it would be with the right hand as he comes forward. If he catches him hopping and sees it coming. Uh, everything, as you mentioned, that Rory does is very calculated. He's one of the most technically sound fighters in the 170-pound division, and one of the reasons for that is what we talked about earlier. That his entire career has been spent training in MMA. Absolutely. He doesn't have any bad habits. Everything he does is MMA perfect. He dedicated his life to MMA at age 14 back in Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. He does an excellent job of getting just out of the way of Robbie's shots. And Robbie, although he's landing that switch kick to the front leg, is not having any success with anything else. Robbie slips. Almost landed a left hand there. Yeah, Lawler wants to fire hard and fire often. Well, he keeps landing that kick, though. Rory hasn't checked one of those. Robbie said of Rory McDonald, he's awesome in every aspect. Look for Robbie to also attack the inside leg kick, and there he went high with that kick. As they fight here, orthodox to southpaw, it opens up the hard inside leg kick for the southpaw fighter and for the orthodox fighter. And that big left hand yeah. of Robbie Lawler. Yeah, also the straight left, the straight right on both on either right. side, and the kicks. Kicks to the body. Makes it a more dangerous game. Of course, 
George St. Pierre utilizes the jab better than anyone in MMA. And Roy McDonald has good utilization of the jab as well. Let's see if he starts to try to use it more often here against Lawler. Well, what I'm impressed with with Rory is his ability to get just out of range calmly. And that's got to be frustrating for Robbie. The jab a little tougher for Rory against the southpaw. He goes with the kick. Good front kick to the body there as well. 12 finishes and 15 career wins for McDonald. What Robbie will do differently than any other fighter Rory has done, has faced, is take chances. But look how expertly Rory spins out away from the cage. Statistics early in this matchup. Our stats powered by Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. Much like we will see in our main event later with Johnny Hendricks, Robbie Lawler is that type of fighter. Head kick by yeah. Lawler. That he might Big hit punches by Lawler. Over. He tagged Rory. Yep. In the final seconds of the round. Tonight's Corner Cam brought to you by Corn Nuts, the only snack with big enough kernels to step right, into the octagon. We'll listen in to Faraz Sahabi. Breathe, breathe. Catch your air, catch your air. It's time to get to work now, okay? He can't hurt you now. You did good distance control, but now you gotta start landing that right hand, right kick, punish him now. Close him off like you're doing, but you gotta punish him. And don't stop wrestling. Don't stop. Grabbing my hand. Robbie. He did a great job with the stuff he worked at. He's going to switch to a high class. Be aware of that. He's going to poke into that. He might come a little bit of desperate now. All right, be ready. We got this. We got the round. I like that kick. I stole his we kick. We got the round. Well, hands up. <laughs> Reset after your combos. Reset after your combos. All right, buddy? You're doing great. There you go. All right, let's do it. Now, there he is, the man who started it all, the UFC Hall of Famer, Royce Gracie who taught us all exactly what Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is all about. That man single-handedly changed my idea about martial Let's arts. Let's go, come on! He is one of the major reasons we are here today. Rory with the shot, he's got the single, and Robbie tagged him a couple of times with a kick by Rory. Combination. Lawler has been training at American Top Team, and he's really thrived down in South Florida training with American Top Team. Personally and professionally, Lawler says he's in the best place he's ever been. And this is a big fight. It would be a huge, huge statement if he could stop Rory McDonald. Well, he believes he won that first round with that final exchange. I believe he landed more shots, definitely landed a lot more leg kicks. But Robbie also did get caught with a few of those, those front kicks. McDonald attempted a couple of takedowns, but so far, it's been toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Robbie's, like, light-tapping him with that, that switch kick now, which is to set up the left hand. Lawler has finished 19 of his 21 career wins. Good kick to the body there by Rory. Good straight right by Rory. And a head kick kick. And he spins off away from the cage. And Rory's just so talented and so composed. Well, he's so well trained, too. Oh, good right hook there by Robbie, though. They call him a savant. And a hard kick by Lawler. Well, you know, he lives this. This is his life. Yep. This is what he wants to do with every waking moment of his day. 
I mean, he lived on his own while he was completing high school so that he could train every day in Kelowna with David Leah. Good straight right to the body by Rory. And again, this is a contrast in styles. The differences between these two guys is that Robbie relies more on instincts and explosion and his ability to knock guys out with one punch leads him to take a lot of risks in order to land those shots. Lawler, the advantage in total strikes landed. Midway point of the fight, again with that leg kick. And Rory's not checking any of those, and as long as Robbie keeps landing those, they will sh for sure take away some of the spring in Rory McDonald's step. Robbie slipped that punch and got caught with that kick, though. And a good straight right. Don't forget, Fox Sports 1 is the home of the UFC. You want UFC? Go to Fox Sports 1. Takedown. Beautiful takedown by Rory. And Rory has some nasty ground and pound. First takedown completed in the fight. Surprising somewhat that Rory waited that long to shoot in on Robbie. Rory McDonald said a few years back it was his goal to be a world champion by age 25. He's 24 right now. He's not doing anything, though. That's weird. He's just laying on Robbie, whether he's recovering, taking his breath. And now he's moving. Now he's on top, looking for a front choke, looking for a guillotine, spinning to the back. Robbie stops that with his right arm. Yes, yes, yes. Take his hand off your legs. Pull that leg. Hips, hips, hips. Just over a minute on the clock here in round two. McDonald takes a look at the clock in front of his corner. John Donaher, Faraz Sahavi, Jonathan Chamber. That's it. Throw that leg and step over. Keep the cradle. Keep the cradle. Step over. Again, a look at the clock. And it's a perfect place for Rory to be. Well, Rory's completely controlling Robbie on the ground. Robbie lands some hard from shots from the bottom. Thirty seconds. Half guard now. This is a, a thing, though. He's not doing anything. No. He's like hanging on to him. Now he does. Good elbows. It's almost like Lawler's he's waiting for him. Lawler to try to explode to get up from the bottom, and Lawler's not doing it. Just missed with that one. Slicing elbow. Good defense, though, on his back by Lawler. Come on. That's that, buddy. Nice and relaxed, you know? Rob, we need this round. Yes, sir. We need this round, all right? When you put pressure on him, don't stand too tall. He went through you in that double. You were too tall. Bend those knees. Remember the cross uppercut. Right, thing is, yes, look close there. He's You're got a firing range, but you stand idle, so you start firing. Did you cut him off like he did? Man, just shit, baby. That's too big. We need this round. Bobby, five round. minutes, all right? Let's do this. Don't let this guy fucking take that away. Come on. And there we see a beautiful straight right by Rory. And there's the double. And here's some ground and pound by Rory McDonald. First round was close. Robbie Lawler might have won it. Second round definitely won by Rory McDonald, in my opinion. I mean, just period. I should even say in my opinion. Third and final round. Five minutes remain. So now in the third, Robbie Lawler is the one in desperation. Oh, he tagged him. Fires early. He tagged him with an uppercut as well. He might have Rory hurt here. Rory stumbling. Take him down, though. Robbie tried to throw that knee, and Rory was able to put him on his back. Lawler Robbie tagged him. Yeah. Look at this. Matt scramble here. Robbie tried to grab a hold of Rory's ankles, tried to elevate him with his butterfly hooks. He's got to get back up to his feet. And for Rory, 
He wants to connect with one of those elbows. Yeah, he wants to get some of that ground and pound in. Because he's at top position, but he's done no damage. Yeah, they stand him up. It's exactly what Robbie Lawler wants. The battle continues. Again, he took him again. Lawler again. Trying to swarm on top position now. And this is where Robbie Lawler is scary. This is when he Robbie wants Lawler to finish, guys. Ruthless. But he's trapped in the full guard now. And Rory's tying him up. He's got an overhook on the right arm. Rory bloodied up a little bit. That blood coming out of the nose of Rory McDonald. Robbie's got a minus P's and Q's here because Rory has a very good offensive guard. And he pushes up. Yeah, yeah he wants to right back up. Let's up. go. Let's go. Two men who debuted at age 20, eight years apart, meeting here tonight on the 20th anniversary of the UFC. And two completely contrasting styles. Nice job. Bobby Lawler tagged him again. again. Robbie Lawler smells nice. blood. Yeah. Huh? Accidental hey. poke. Oh, man. Oh, right there. Damn. Open you get just one quarter, huh? Right? Went to both the dogs. Try to catch huh? it on the replay. Yeah. Robbie! Robbie! He says he's Lally. ready. Yep. Let's no go. Question went right in the eyes. The battle continues. Beautiful. That's take it for down. a single. Can he finish it? Awesome timing on that takedown. Awesome takedown right defense by feet. Robbie Lawler. Lawler again connects. Oh! Knocks him down with a combination. Looking to finish this fight. This third round is all Robbie Lawler. He might consider letting him back up. Another shot. And again. This is reminiscent the of the hit. third round of Carlos Condit, Roy McDonald. The veteran turning it on. Oh, he let him get half guard, though. 90 seconds on the clock. Robbie's got to be careful in this scramble, too. Oh, Back to side hurt. control. He's still hurt, Mike. Yeah, he's all kinds of hurt. the 20th anniversary of the UFC. What a fight. Old school, new breed, go the distance. 
Fight replay brought to you by Bud Life. Here we go. And here's a big right hand by Robbie Lawler. And this is what we talked about, Mike. Robbie Lawler's ability to knock guys out and his willingness to take risks. Throws himself into harm's way. Nasty right hand from the top by Lawler. That is a true veteran of the sport of mixed martial arts. Ruthless Robbie Lawler. Who we met two years out of high school back in 2002. And he was cut by the UFC and went and won in other organizations. Has returned impressively. And tonight put on a great show against that young man, Rory McDonald. Rory McDonald, after really getting hammered on in the third round, scores the takedown late, and then he was throwing some vicious elbows. And Robbie Lawler was happy that the round was over. But a ton of damage done by Robbie Lawler in the third round before Rory finished strong. The judges have rendered their decision, and here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 29-28, Lawler. 29-28, McDonald. And 29-28, for the winner by split decision, Ruthless Robbie. Victory for ruthless Robbie Lawler. What a fight! I am here with the winner, ruthless Robbie Lawler. First of all, Robbie, what a fight! An amazing fight and an amazing third round for you. You had him badly, badly hurt. Were you surprised that he was able to hang on? Uh. He got stopped late earlier in his career, so I think he wanted to avenge that. And he's in shape and he trains with the best, so I was expecting 15 minutes. You have been in his position before. You were the young fighter in the UFC many years ago. Do you think that that experience helped you win this fight? I think so. I've had a tough road up and down, but I kept getting up and kept pushing forward, and that's what happened tonight. Robbie, this has got to be one of the biggest fights of your career. Take a look at the big screen. You cracked him with this big right hand. This is what started it all off. Talk us through this. Tell me what you were thinking while you knew you had him hurt here. Well, I was going to the leg, and I wanted to come over top with a hook, and that's what happened. Just bang right over the top and hurt him. Tried to finish, but he's tough. Amazing fight. Congratulations, my friend. Just absolutely spectacular. Ruthless Robbie Lawler, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0 and oh since returning to the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Ruthless Robbie Lawler wins tonight by split decision over Rory McDonald.